that's literally like me saying, because like after Fall Pro League Finals, Straight Rippin offered me to join their team when it was Ace, Hines, and APG. I think it was Ace, Hines, and APG. Yeah, so like Fall Pro League Finals, it was Ace, Hines, APG, and Eco. And then after that, Eco left to go to Liquid, I think. And then they offered me the fourth spot, and I turned it down to stay with Commonly. And then they picked up Renegade. But it's like, had I taken that spot, would Renegade have a career? Question mark? You know, like, like you could say, like, you could say anything, like, along those lines. But the fact of the matter is, is it didn't happen, so... Obviously, Renegade would have a career. He's fucking the best player in the game. But you know what I'm saying? Like, everything could be different. Who's to say that teams from nowadays wouldn't have been top teams back in the day? There's always that argument, too. Do you think EG would have been as dominant as they were with Nated instead of Lethal? Um, hard to say because Lethal was like a fucking ridiculous pickup for that team. What do you think about Nated coming back? Um, not too surprising. I think he probably would have competed this year if he could have. I think the thing about starting a year late is that nobody can gauge how good you are at the game. So, like, I don't know what his team is going to look like when he's, like, able to start playing again. I could see it being, like, fucking Kratos, Akshana, Hative, and fucking Nated. That's an off-the-wall team for sure. I mean, think about Ace's team. They just fucking... That, like, it's such a random team of four. So is the fucking... So is Hysteria's team, and they both qualified for Worlds. You know what I mean? Like, just so fucking, like, odd how that all, like, came together. Hysteria is king leftovers. Man's got dropped by complexity and outplaced them by two rounds. Same with fucking Super CC and Envoy. They both got dropped by Fnatic and then outplaced them. Yeah, Oxygen last minute. But, like, that, that one was, like, I don't want to say it was, like, surprising, but it's actually kind of lit how, like, Oxygen makes a last minute change. And gets top eight. Like, Collect just randomly gets on Oxygen last minute and gets his best placing. I think that's all of their best placing since the game. Came out. Definitely some, like, up and, like, a lot of up and coming talent in this game that broke out. Mortally got top 12. That is, like, third tournament. Collect got top eight. Barco got top six at his first. On his first NA team, first first NA team, first event together. Swish got his best placing at Kansas City, and they were one kill away from placing top six. Actually, I think that was three fourths of G1's best placing in, in Halo Infinite. Now that I think about it, I mean, obviously they got second in the super, but it's an online tournament. I don't know what happened to ascend this tournament. They were underwhelming. I don't know if they just had a, a rough tournament or I don't really know what happened there. I expected them to do way better. Same with Quadrant. Quadrant. Quadrant's not even going to be at Worlds, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I think Oxygen was one game off of... I think they lost game five to G2. That was literally like a coin toss match because both teams had like no practice going into the tournament.